Did you know? When it comes to popularity, garden roses are near the top of the list. There is no denying that the garden roses are beautiful, but as they are non-native to North America and were selected for large, showy, multi-petal layered blooms, they are seriously lacking when it comes to providing for our native pollinators and wildlife. This is where our native rose species excel. Their simpler, but still quite beautiful blooms are much better suited for use by our native pollinators. The colorful, sweet-scented flowers do not produce nectar, but the ample pollen they produce is gathered by many species of native bees, especially bumblebees. Honeybees also gather pollen from the wild roses, and it is also eaten by a colorful assortment of beetles. Rose foliage is fed upon by many species of insects, including sawfly larvae, and up to 102 species of caterpillars that will use rose as a host plant, including the impressive caterpillars of the equally impressive Cecropia moth. Of course, all those caterpillars are an important food source for songbirds, especially during the nesting season. Wild roses also feed songbirds and game birds through the fall and winter. Not only do the hips feed birds, but they are also sought out by small mammals and even larger critters like deer. 